Hello, hello. It is Sandra with Brew City Thrifts again. I am back at one of my very favorite um, Goodwills. It is the smallest one that I usually go to. It's uh, the one that is located on Oakland Avenue here in Milwaukee. And last time I was here, it was epic. <laughs> I found the most amazing items, uh, especially a wonderful um, uh, art uh, ceramic, I'm sorry, pot, art pottery vase that was just amazing and that I've actually put in my own house for now. I have, can't let go of it quite yet. So we'll go inside and uh, see what's there today. So let's hit it. Okay, we are starting here in their first rows. This looks like a yellow row. And there's a lot of Easter stuff out already. These are kind of cool. They've got, oh, plastic. Back here is a piece of glass fruit. Um, I picked these up before and they are just sort of sitting there. I mean, I like them, but I'm not able to move them. So we're gonna move on. Down here we have This is kind of a pretty base. Well, I can tell I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't read anything. That's kind of a pretty Majolica style base. Um, let's see any chips. $2.99. Really pretty for spring. It doesn't look old, even though the bottom kind of looks like it might have had a little age there. So I think for $2.99, we'll give it a try. This is Tabletops Unlimited English Garden. These are kind of pretty. Hand painted. Oh gosh, again, those fingers. Hand painted and again, very pretty florals. I kind of like the fact that there's like a free form shape to the plates. There's two of them. English Garden. Uh, 99 cents each. I don't see any chips or anything. I'll give it a try. This is kind of cool. This little guy down here. It's a little Japanese piece with like a very textured interesting glaze. I like this. I like the the glaze on it and the textured exterior. It is made in Japan. It does look like it's got some age. So I think I'm going to take that for $1.99. This, on the other hand, this is really charming. It's metal. I do like it. It is signed Louis Eric. Louis Eric. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I could see that being great in a beach house on the wall. Let me give it a try. It's metal. I do like things made on metal, so. This is pretty glass. Again, I can't remember the term for when it's white on the inside and there's a color on the outside. Let me see if I can take that sticker off and see who makes it. Ah, well, surprise, surprise. That's a good surprise. Crate and barrel. Yeah, as long as there's no chips. Not seeing any chips. Not seeing any damages, kind of sharp on there, but Crate and Barrel is pretty much a good brand for things, so I think I'll take that. Oh, I'm sorry. No worries. Whoa, look at this. Lots of something else. Whoa. Next to a Starbucks mug, we've got a bag. Unfortunately, it's shipped here, but 
Pretty amazing. Seeing the cow. Face is intact. I only see that one ship. But and it's big. It'll be tough to ship and heavy to ship. And it's not too heavy. How much are they asking? I want to say five ten. Oh. Four ninety nine, that's not bad. Four ninety nine for that big cow. Do I want a big cow? <laughs> Bossy, I am leaving you here, although I may regret it. I'll leave you here for now. I'll think about you. There's been last time I was here, it was like I couldn't stop finding cool stuff, so it was really very hard to. It's very hard to move on, but this is kind of a cool, um, very light blue. Um, oh gosh, pebbled cup glass. It's uh, kind of nice. But, what else can we find here? There's, oh, look at this ruffled bowl. This. Is really, just the, the, the actual, the glass shape is really beautiful. The painting, there's some wear on the gilding there. In the middle, there's some wear. But on the whole, it looks intact. I don't see any chips. I don't feel any chips. Let's see who makes this. It's not marked. Uh, I don't know enough about you know glass to know who makes that. I know it's pretty. It's a nice little dish, and the shape makes it really cool. Oh, I could take I could take a risk. For $1.99. I mean, it's definitely hand painted and it's definitely got some age. So, well, $1.99, sure. Oops, again, I'm breaking things as I try to buy them. No, it didn't really break, it just clinked. Well, you can see that's made someone nervous with this, but I will. Well, there, I'm definitely not pointing it at her. I'm just pointing it at the stuff that I'm filming. Uh, this is a picture with a cardinal on it. It's quite pretty. But it looks like it's made for. It's made. Um, you know, it's not like hand painted. Look at this. This is kind of cool. Let's see if I can reach it. Butter brand baked wholesome bread. If it had its lid, that might be a find. I think some people do like these cross stitches. I have not tried to sell them myself, but this is a really pretty one. Look, it says reach for the stars, dream freely. Um, it's open though which makes me a little concerned that it doesn't have all the things you need in there. Looking in there, I mean, I can't, let me see if that package, it looks like it's got all of the threads too. I think for $1.99, this might be something to try. So I love that pattern. If someone were to make that, that would just be so gorgeous. Reach for the stars, dream freely. Um, and it's something that you can make into a picture or a pillow. I think we'll try that. Ooh, this is kind of cool. A little container. Like little drawers. It's like a little metal cabinet. I kind of like this. This looks really useful for $4.99. Like, for just any kind of, I mean, I just see this in a garage or a tool shed with nails and stuff. I think this is cool. I'm gonna get that. And I can go down here. Warm all 
Disney. Now this, on the other hand, a Daffy, a Daffy Cup, a 3D Daffy. No, wait, that's Woody Woodpecker. Again, I'm challenged. Is it Woody? Is it Daffy? I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look. It's Roadrunner. It's Roadrunner. Really, Sandra, you can place the Roadrunner. Well, the Roadrunner mug. I do actually fairly well with 3D mugs. I sold a Daffy mug not that long ago and did a pretty good job on it. So I'll pick up a Roadrunner. Beep, beep. This one is a nice glaze. Um, what does it say McCoy on the left? Yeah, this is a McCoy mug. McCoy party? I don't. McCoy for 99 cents? Now that's something I would probably try. I might look it up before I take it home tonight. Um. Whoa, one of these hand warmers, but look at the glaze on that. And that's a lefty, lefty warmer. Yeah, it's signed. 2013, but I do like the glaze on that. That's just a nice glaze. Look at that. Mm, lots of mugs again this time around. Oh, it's like a moon and stars little basket. It open. That's kind of cool. And it's purple. I don't know if that pattern is actually moon and stars. It's similar. And I do like the top of it. I do like the fact that it's purple. So for $2.99, I think I can take this. that out. It might have information. Next catcher, please. Next catcher. Pottery. Thank you, Pottery. Well, I think that might be worth getting. It's got something attesting to authenticity. So we'll get that. It's just a little scratched up, but I can't tell. It might just need a cleaning. It's a little crowded again and go down a different aisle. I'm not seeing too much there that I'm really interested in. But this, Geo's, for $1.99, yeah, for sure. I that one alone. That's so cute. Look at that. Moving on. It's actually getting to my favorite area. No, not the lamps, which are cool. Ooh, look at this. Oh my goodness. What is this? Beautiful. Hands. Painted. Lampshade. Really beautiful. Look at my hat. Look at the ruffled top there. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Put the red lamp on, and this is like a 
reproduction, you know, um, like Frank Lloyd Wright type of lamp. This big ceramic monster. I think we were worth it. I like big pumpkins, but I have enough. We're gonna back up since there's someone here. We're gonna start down at this end and work a little bit. Do you think it's a little bit backwards here? Over here. the figures so much it's kind of weird figures like more into a princess pig <laughs> that has some bling on it <laughs> princess pig piggy bank it's missing its bottom it's metal but it's got these cute little sparkles on it kind of hard to resist welcome little princess <laughs> you know, a little um Pink crown fling. I kind of might need to take this little pig with me. It's Princess Pig with the rhinestones and the enamel. She's going home with me. Come on down, Princess Pig. I actually picked up another rhinestone, princess, like a rhin pink rhinestone pig when I was here last. <laughs> Someone must have been collecting. And I missed it the first time, maybe. Um, let's see, what else? Catching my eye. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Looks like this could be something for shaving. Those look kind of old. James Kent, old Foley. Huh. Put something in the top, maybe like. I'm not sure what this is, but I like it. I'm gonna get it just to figure out what it is. How much is it? Dollar ninety nine. Sure. Just figure out what it is. And down here are some steins. It is Wisconsin. There are kajillions of these around. If you all want to help me learn about them, I'm open to learning. But I am not very knowledgeable about them right now myself. Yeah, I was just like, is that Chinese pottery back here? It's pretty. <laughs> More Mickey Mouse. Yep. More Disney stuff. Oh, I know you Disney people are going to be mad at me. What is this? Uh, pet world. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it's a duck tray. Avon. Or something. You know, my masks do okay. Four ninety nine, though. I don't know. I really just don't know. 
I might get this. I'm going to think about it for a minute. We're going to take a quick look at the art before we head out. Oops, this stopped me in my tracks. Attention Google shoppers. The Tesla Fix 40 and Google store will be closing in 20 minutes. It looks like it's um, horoscope. Hmm. My daughter might like that. horoscope on it. Kind of cool. Get that for my daughter. And then moving on here. A real quick look at the art. Like I said, I was looking for some spring art. And something with maybe some birds or florals. And we'll just do a quick look here. <laughs> this might be good for my my boyfriend. <laughs> um, there's that bunny again. It's nice, but it's got that stain on it. I'm not seeing anything too springy here. I just don't even want to fight that. It's too full. All right, I think that was it. Okay, so um, we got a few good things. My total was I had a $5 off um, uh, option, so I took the $5, and my total was $38 after rounding up. And I, you know, I got some good things. Um, I think uh, that great barrel base is something that might do very well. Um, I haven't looked up comps for anything, so I'm just going off of my guesses here. Um, I think that um, I liked that um, pottery hand warming, left hand warming mug. I think just that was really um, charming. And um, the little mud pie pig it turned out to be my mud pie, and I know my sister really likes mud pie. It was just blingy and cute. So that was um, fun. Um, that ruffled, hand-painted um, little bowl um, might be something interesting. It's pretty, and with the ruffle, I think it, you know, some people will um, you know, like the, the pretty quality of it. <laughs> and... Um, so yeah, that ruffled bowl, the, um, the pottery pieces, I put a couple things back on the shelf, uh, wasn't able to find any spring art, um, so I still need to go out looking for that. Um, and that uh, metal, um, metal drawers, storage drawers, that might be nice in a workshop, um, that was also something that I think is going to sell pretty well. So. On the whole, not a bad trip. Not as exciting as last time. I mean, let's face it, I'm, I got to remember I'm not going to have uh, a, um exceptional experience every time. We know that, right? Sometimes we go out, we get almost nothing. A couple times I've left without anything. Well, actually, very rarely. Uh, um, but, you know, I, I can typically find one or two things that I think I can use or I can sell. But, um, but, uh, you know, this was not the most exciting trip, but I think there's some nice items that will do well. And I also think, you know, I have so much to learn. And if you're watching this and you're into thrifting, um, it seems like such a generous community. The YouTubers I watch are so generous with their time and their knowledge. And so I am just admittedly a newbie, a novice, and there's so much I don't know. So, you know, ahead of time, I'm saying, um, you know, appreciate the grace when I get things wrong. Um, I um, appreciate the tips and the information you share with me. Um, you know, every area that 
every area of the country seems to have its own like not even area of the country like not just states but even cities can have their own vibes and the things that people really like there and the things that don't do so well so you know Milwaukee is it's uh, got its quirks and uh, I know I need to learn a lot more about barware to take advantage of what I'm sure is on the shelves in these um, stores so I have a lot to learn but um, I'd like to learn with you and I'd like to learn with people who really enjoy this the way I do. So thanks again for in, for joining me today. And um, I will continue to get better at this and show you a few more. There's lots of different Goodwills. That's what I frequent the most. And some nice um, antique malls. And, uh, you know, I will introduce you to all of those that I know. And we'll learn together. So um, thrift on, brothers and sisters. Thank you.